Hello everyone, welcome once again. Today we are going to create a piano per day pop-up car. We are gonna start um, with the keys for the piano. And it's hard to see on the video, but this part has the score lines right here. And what we are gonna start doing is folding the keys that are the black, with the ones with the black color. And um, I'm gonna kinda show you two options to um, add color, the black color to them, um, but with the first one what we are going to do is we are folding the the keys that are the ones that have the black color and then so what I'm doing right here is folding those sections that are going to be folded to have that uh, black keys um, up comparing to the rest of the keys and so this is kind of how we need to fold this piece like this I recommend to be careful when you are doing this and I highly recommend to use cardstock 65, 65 pounds uh, because it's very it's a thick material and it won't rip apart uh, doing this process We have to do this with every single key that is going to be with black color. And these sections have score lines. Uh, it's hard to see it on the video because it's, it's, this car stock is white. But once you cut your pieces, you will be able to see these lines very well. So once we have the front of the black keys uh, folded, we can kind of go like this and start folding the back of those keys. Like this. And I said black because that's the color that they are going to be right now. All of them are white. So, um, And then I'm just using this tool to make sure those folded sections are being folded very well. So now you can see uh, I'm going to fold this section like this. And I have the keys for the piano pretty much ready here. Like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting those keys that need to be with black. And this is one of the options. I will show you the second option uh, in a little bit. Um, one thing that is important here is you need to be very precise uh, because we don't want to paint anything else other than the sections that should be black. Kind of painting like these sections first and then the whole key. And if you want to use this technique, you definitely need to fold this piece as I did before I started painting, painting them. So 
Now we're just doing the other part. Just doing it again in some of the sections that I missed. And now I have it ready. So the second technique will be just use a piece of paper like this one that I have here and and put it like this on your piece and it's gonna have the keys and what this piece is gonna do is that it's gonna allow you to paint the whole section without painting those that still need to be white and as you can see I haven't folded this section yet so once you have it um, on the areas that you need to paint so you can just go ahead and start painting the advantage of doing it this way is that you can paint anywhere right here around um, the keys and nothing is gonna get painted because it's basically touching the piece of paper that I using to avoid getting paint in other sections. And if you're not sure where this piece should go, you can kind of uh, take a look to the um, the keys before you start doing it, and then you will see where those key, or what those black keys should be. So now that I'm done, I'm just going to just remove this piece and voila, I have my keys paint. So either way uh, works for you, uh, can work for you to do this step. So now with this piece, I'm going to start folding this section right here. And again, I'm using this tool because I want this, this folded lines well done. So now I'm going to do the second one to the opposite side. And this is to have like the stair um, kind of look um, for the white keys for the piano. So now I have to follow the same steps that I did previously when I with the first option or technique to paint the black keys. Uh, so I'm folding these sections right here and then I have to push uh, my right section like this and then bring this piece down with the fold uh, section also just like this and I have to do it with all of them before I fold the whole piece completely pretty much this step is the one that may require a little bit of patience <laughs> but once you get the first couple then you get the technique and you can do it with the others no problem so now i can start folding the whole section like this and i'm gonna use my tool again to make sure this fold section is very well done as well so now i have this piece this piece almost done and the last 
section that I need to fold is this one right here. Again, I'm using my tool. And now I have the keys for the piano pretty much ready. So now we are gonna use this piece and these are the other piano pieces also and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this section like this so I highly recommend to use glue that can dry easily otherwise you may need to wait until it's dry because your pieces can need to be very stable once you glue them or to continue with the next step so I'm gonna do it like this and this piece needs to be aligned with the main piece like this so now you can see that this piece goes all the way down so what I'm gonna use to keep it level is I'm gonna use foamy dots uh, and the number of uh, dots that you may need will depend on the thickness of your dots so I'm gonna check to see if two will be enough for this one and it seems like it's still a little bit down so I'm gonna add another one and push it down and now I have this section left you know, we're gonna do the same with the other side. Okay. So now I can continue with the next step. So I have these pieces with these cuts right here and um, before I do that I kind of do this technique to um, make this piece rounded a little bit because I wanted to have the shape for the piano and that will make it easy. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these two sections. Uh, which are the ones that are going to be glued to the main piece of the piano and it's going to go like this but before I glue it I'm going to start making the cuts like the piece that I show you a little bit uh, I show you a few minutes ago and this piece is going to go like this uh, I recommend to do as many cuts as you can because that will make your piece more flexible to the rounded sections <clears throat> and then we are gonna add glue and attach it like this Okay, so this piece needs to be aligned. I just noticed that I didn't glue this very well. <laughs> I have a piece that is um, sticking out uh, for the Y section, so I'm, I'm just gonna fix it right now. And now I can try again, and now it looks aligned. So I'm gonna push here a little bit, and then um, so the next thing I need to do, I need to create a, a score line right here in this section. Uh, you can fold it if, to have a better view on where to do it. And I'm gonna fold it like this. And 
again I'm using my tool and I'm gonna continue making my little cuts here and I'm making many and you will see in a little while so now I'm gonna uh, create the corner here just like this and I need to cut one, make one more cut here to be able to fold this corner and I'm gonna also do the cuts at the very top right away so I have that piece ready for the next step okay so now I'm gonna add glue and I'm gonna start gluing it uh, piece or section by section to make sure this area which is the one that has that rounded part is exactly like that and this black piece that I'm attaching is to be aligned to the main piece and those little cuts that we made are exactly to be able to get this uh, section like this which is really cool and again if your glue is it, it can get dry quickly you may need to wait for a little bit I'm using um, I'm using I'm using barely arts glue I will leave the link below yeah this glue is really cool and also dries quickly so as you can see I, I'm not I'm not having to wait too much uh, to get it dry so overall it's looking good and we are gonna do the same to all the way to the um, other side of the piano so now I'm gonna continue here this piece already has the cuts with the scissors so I'm just gonna fold them like this because I didn't fold that section before and again I'm gonna add glue to attach this area and I'm doing or following the same steps as I did with the other side of the pen make additional cuts if you need to so you can make fit this piece like this And then you can cut any excess of this piece or you can just go ahead and glue it along with the other part so that makes it um, more even more stable now I'm just gonna add glue here uh, to get them together so now I have it glue and the next step is gonna be I'm um, just making this very straight and I'm gonna include this section with this black piece and we may need to wait also to make sure it's dry uh, before we move with the other uh, side and then I'm gonna make a small cut here and I'm gonna include this section right here like this and we are going to do the same with the other side so before we glue the other side we kind of want to double check that is aligned with this piece that I'm putting on top um, it should be and if it's not then you may need to make some adjustments um, but it's more likely that you won't need to it's just that it may need to just move it a little bit just to um, be aligned with that main piece that is gonna go on top so now I have 
this piece and you can see that it's gonna fit but before we do that we are gonna attach this piece i'm using foamy dots you don't have to um, but this i'm using foamy dots to kind of add a little bit of dimension at this as this piece is pretending to be part of the key the piano keys So now it's time to attach this piece but before that we need to glue these two pieces and they should be aligned at the top and for me for my piece I'm just gonna um, double or redo the uh, score line because my I forgot to put the screen to, to create it, so I had to make it right now. So we're gonna fold this piece like this. <clears throat> and we're gonna add a little bit of glue here, just enough to glue, we don't want them to have too much. And then it's gonna go this way. And it's gonna open just like this. Now we have this piece ready to uh, glue it on top. So I'm gonna add glue right here on this section. I'm gonna do it partially uh, just to make sure it's aligned. And it should be aligned with the top again. Um, just like this. And then I'm gonna do the rest. And lastly, I'm gonna add glue at the front to attach this piece to the piano keys or to the keys. And in this section, uh, once you have the piano done, you can add chocolates maybe or something that you would like to add as part of the card. And then we have to add glue here to um, attach this piece. Probably it will be easier if we use hot glue because this piece is kind of thick and may take longer to get dry. And we do that with both corners right here. I have this piece that I didn't glue before. So the next thing to add is the uh, music sheets. I believe that's the name that they have. <laughs> so I'm holding this piece right here and it's gonna be at the front like this. And now I'm gonna add this piece. And now the for happy birthday.
and you can just glue these pieces instead of adding foamy that's also and then so our piano is gonna look like this can do it this both ways so now I'm gonna fold this piece which is gonna be to open the I don't know if it's if I can call it door <laughs> for the piano but this section right here um, so it, it will be holding the piano open like this so now we are gonna add this piece right here to hide that white section for the piano So now we need to create three squares like the one I have already made and these are going to be the legs of the piano. So we're gonna fold this by like this and they're gonna they're gonna fold like this just like this and I'm gonna do the same with the other two two are gonna be at front and one in the back to hold the entire piano and you can kind of calculate where it's going to be before you glue it because we don't want a section sticking out um, so it's going to be around here so now I have the legs And my piano is ready. So now let's create the envelope. The envelope is more like a box because um, because of the piano uh, high. Um, so we could easily use this envelope as a uh, the box, kind of like a grab uh, gift uh, grabbing grabbing paper. Sorry, <laughs> um, I don't know how to call it right now. Uh, anyways, so we need to cut all these sections right here um, to fold this this piece. and then they are gonna go together like this the corners and we can cut one of these so it won't be too thick on each corner uh, once we fold it and it's gonna be glue like this so I'm gonna glue right here and on the top to attach one side to the other one um, I'm gonna do the same with the two corners at the bottom of my uh, envelope glue here like this and wait a little bit until it's dry And then the smaller piece is gonna go on top like this and I'm just gonna add glue right here and I'm gonna do it on two sections first uh, to make sure it's it's attached correctly and this piece should fit perfectly the main piece or the first piece that I um, fold so now I'm, I'm adding the glue on 
the other side or section and then I just need to let it dry for a little bit so now I'm gonna cut these pieces right here and also right here and I'm gonna cut these pieces to be able to fold them like this and then I I'm gonna fold this a small section that is just enough to be able to close the box so and then it's gonna close like this if the sides are hard to uh, be able to close it then you can just cut the corners like this and that will simplify the, the task right there so now I'm just gonna add these music notes uh, I'm gonna use two uh, but you can use as many as you want or different uh, images if you would like so then we need to fold the, the legs for the uh, piano and this is how it's going to really place it inside of the box and then we can seal it uh, using also a music knot if you want or you can just glue it or add anything um, to cover uh, or seal the bags um, I'm gonna use just a, a small piece of vinyl to, to close it um, that way it's not too difficult for the person who will receive it to get it open just like this so the final result we have here is as soon as we get the piano side of the box it's gonna look like this and then we unfold the uh, legs and open the top of the piano like this and you can see this is a very cool card and in the back we can add as I said chocolates or um, an additional message or anything that you would like to add as part of the, the gift So I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and I hope also to see you on my next video. Have a good one and thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.